Christmas are never boring. I'll give him that. Okay, um, well, welcome to my channel. Um, yeah, I don't even know where to start. Breaking, 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 breaking. Apparently, the Miss Universe organization is sold. What? <laughs> um, yeah, so, okay. So I'll tell you how I figured this out. I'm still learning. There's still a lot going on. I'm sure you guys are learning too, but here's the scoop that I have for you. Okay, so this morning I'm up, I'm just, you know, on my Instagram, and I follow Layla Lopez, um, she was Miss Universe 2011 from Angola, and I see breaking news, the business mogul, and Jakarta, Ju oh no, I'm not even going to say her last name, <laughs> um, is the new owner of the Miss Universe organization, and at first I was like, eh. Like, you hear a lot of things all the time, so I was like, mm, but it was coming from her. So I, like, went back and I was like, wait, is it on her page? It was on her page. So then I click in. It says, congrats, Anne. I believe that you will be bring a great change to MUO. I'm super excited for this new era. Let's go, universe. So then I'm like, well, who is this? <laughs> so then I click into Anne, and on her Instagram, I'll pull it up, it said, oh, she has like 6.8 million followers, like never even heard of her, but amazing. Um, it says founder and CEO of JKM Global Group, and it says which owns Miss Universe, Miss USA, and Miss Teen USA, which is also interesting. Tay. Um, and so I'm like looking and I'm like, okay. So then I go to the Miss Universe um, Instagram. Now I'm, I'm making this at 314 Mountain Time on October 26th. So at this point, Miss Universe has still not said anything on their social media, on their website. In fact, they're more excited that they have gained over 5 million subscribers on their Instagram page. Just saying. So then I go, I'm like, okay, is this in the news? I'm like, okay. So I go to the news and it's like everywhere on the news. Um, I type in Miss Universe. It's on the Daily Tribute. It's on CTV News. It's on NBC News. Sorry, it's on the Tribune. Um, and I guess this is a billionaire business mogul who is from Thailand and she has paid $20 million. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many emails. <laughs> she has paid $20 million um, to, I guess, yeah, to buy the Miss Universe organization. So I guess she bought it from IMG, um, which is interesting. Um, I guess, how do you guys feel about that? I think it's, what is that? <laughs> it's a little earbud. <laughs> I guess, how do you guys feel about that? Um, I don't, I don't know how to feel about it because I don't really know anything about it. If it's anything like the Thailand pageants, I think it's going to be really great in terms of production numbers. Thailand has completely rebranded the last few years. You know, they're super competitive. Gorgeous girls are coming out from Thailand. Also, the production value is so top notch. It's like beyond Miss Universe in my opinion and beyond a lot of these international pageants. So I think on the production level, the amount of opportunities that Miss Universe can get on a more international scale, not so much just in America or the, um, you know, North America, I, more international and not only just in the countries that the winner is from, I think can bring some publicity. And also I think Miss Universe, I hate to say it, but it's, it's, it's popular in certain countries and not popular in a lot of other countries, right? So I think this is going to maybe bring Miss Universe back to the forefront. I wonder if this is going to have any change on the new rulings that was there. So that's going to be um, interesting to see if that has any bearings on anything. I doubt it because they just made that change. And I assume this conversation has been going on for a while. But what's really interesting to me is that when Trump was selling... The Miss Universe, although Trump had a whole bunch of other things going on, he was trying to be president, <laughs> but 
it was all over. Like everybody knew that it was gonna be sold. We were all guesstimating who that person was gonna be. This came out of actual like nowhere. <laughs> like, um, okay, now it's sold. Like, what's going on with Miss USA, by the way? Like, what's happening there? We heard that Crystal Stewart's no longer the president, but nothing's came out on that. And in fact, Crystal Stewart still has it on her page. Like, it's so, like, everything is so evasive. It's so secretive. It's so interesting. Um, sorry, I'm just emails. Um, and so anyways, yeah, I wonder how it's going to affect the Miss Universe brand. Um, I mean, it's all over the news. So, I mean, people are, I guess, interested. It is like something that has been going on forever. So it makes sense. Yeah, but let me know what your thoughts are on how you think it's gonna affect the Miss Universe organization, if at will at all, if it's gonna bring more notoriety to the Miss Universe pageant. I think it's kind of one of those things that's just a little bit dying, to be honest, kind of like Victoria's Secret fashion show. But it's just like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not as like, Oh, like so big as it once was, but all the but times has changed. Like we used to sit around our TVs on Friday night and watch like programs, like TV shows, and so it was like a family event when Miss Universe came out, and it might still be for a lot of countries. I'm just talking about the country that I reside in, which is Canada. Um, but Canada's not really huge in pageants, anyways. Yeah, I just wonder if they're gonna say anything about it. I'm eager to say, see what they have to say. Um, I wonder when this comes in effect. Does this come in effect now? And it's kind of cool that like there's, I guess what I heard is there's three boss ladies in charge. I'm um, not a huge fan of one of them, but oh, it's also on Newswire. I also heard that she's a Thai trans woman, which is really interesting. I, I don't know. I don't know facts about that. I think that's pretty cool. She's beautiful. But yeah, the three people on the top of the organization are all women, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so let me know what y'all think and stay tuned. I have had recently, I did a fashion show, so um, stay tuned to my short on that and um, yeah, stay tuned to all of my other um, videos to come. Um, do not forget to subscribe, stay tuned. Um, I'm going to be trying to shoot or trying to have a video out for you every week. So um, yeah, subscribe, like my channel, follow me on Instagram. Talk to you soon. Bye.